So hi everyone, Michael Faust here. For those I haven't yet met, um, looking forward to giving you a great presentation. We had an excellent time in Dubai. And uh, today is a session where I'm gonna give you the facts. I just wanna deal with the facts. It's a high level overview of everything. And I will be doing some follow-up sessions on this to drill down in more detail, but I see this as an opportunity to reset where we are currently with Daisy. So I just want to do that today and focus on a bit of a reset from mindset to where things are at and how we move this forward. Um, this was probably actually predominantly for our team, but I've invited other people to attend. So I hope you get a lot out of today's session. So let's get started and share a screen and I'll just turn my video off. Okay, so this is a debrief session for the Daisy Disrupt event that happened early this week, last week, March 28 and 29. So before we get started, I just want to talk about the rules of engagement with this webinar so you understand where it's going, because I know there's a lot of people with lots of different views about things. So there is no chat. Listen, learn. We're not getting into questions, um, opinions, or more complaints or people's individual um, account issues. So please be aware of that, just respect that. There's no disrespect intended. There's no audience participation. This is gonna be a one-way information flow to help you learn and know how to progress moving forward. So please put aside all distractions and give this your full attention. So anything else that's going on in your life right now for the next hour, uh, if you really wanna get the most out of this, give this your full attention. Where do opinions, complaints, and grievances go? Because we know there are people who are not happy. You know, I have an attitude that if you have nothing positive to say, best not say anything at all. But they go to your referrer and your upline leadership. They do not go into public groups. I have ran the Telegram groups within Daisy for the whole uh, database. And what I see is a lot of people actually poisoning other people with their negative views. Your views are your views and should only go in one direction, and that's upline. Um, I encourage people to be an adult. Don't throw your garbage in other people's lounge rooms or throw tantrums. Basically, you wouldn't let somebody come into your house in the middle of watching television with your family and throw a bucket of garbage in your lounge room. That's what happens in the groups every day where people come in and they throw a lot of garbage around, throw tantrums, and don't realize that, that has an impact upon people that have nothing to do with them, that they had nothing to do with bringing into the actual DAISY community. Where do you go with your general questions? Well, you go to your referring member and you go to upline leadership. Now, one of the things I spoke about at the event, and you can listen to the recordings of my presentation on the YouTube channel that we've got, but basically... I understand a lot of people have actually a disconnect with their referring member and upline leadership. That's a two-way responsibility. It's, it's the responsibility is on the referring member and the upline to actually communicate with you and position you for success. But I'd also encourage you to take responsibility that you should choose carefully who you choose as your referring member, upline leadership. You might have already made that decision in Daisy, but learn from what's happened. Don't make that mistake again. But if your referring member is not active, ask them who referred them and ask that person to refer them until you find people that can help you to get to where you would like to go. And we have a lot of quality resources on our YouTube channel, which we've made available to the entire community. So please take advantage of that. And also the DAISY official Telegram groups. There's a lot of good information there in the pin messages and admin are very proactive in helping people. Where do you go for your specific account issues? We're talking about specific issues that are individual to you alone. Basically, the admin in the official DAISY groups have access to DAISY IT. Um, your referrer, your upline, do not. We don't control corporate. We don't control IT. We don't control the smart contract. So the best place to take them is to the right people. Where do you go for your training, coaching, and mentoring? Your referring member. And if they're not capable of doing that, then you work your way through your referral upline until you find people that are doing the things that you would like to achieve, that are enjoying the level of success that you would like to achieve. 
And because basically you shouldn't be doing this on your own. You should be going to people and getting training, coaching, mentoring. The best people in every endeavor in the world, whether it be sport, art or business or any other endeavor, have trainers, coaches and mentors. So why not you? And again, I'm just going to go a high level today. We will go into more detail on your subjects at a later time. So the event highlights, um, apart from uh, it was great to travel for the first time since January 2020. I normally used to travel every every month or two, but uh, two years here in Thailand, uh, I enjoyed being locked down here out of all places, but it was good to jump on an international flight for a change. Um, obviously, numbers were about 500 people plus would have had more if not for the restrictions, obviously, in the current uh, COVID situation, but a great turnout. Um, it was a really good venue, uh, very professionally ran. And definitely, if you've seen the videos, the best seating of any events. I mean, we had armchairs, lounge, lounges, basically, for the event. So it was, it was a very comfortable event to enjoy. It was a great opportunity to build relationships and to connect with people and learn. There's a lot of people who knew me through my videos and through the Telegram groups and channels. And it was great to connect with them and also hear other people's um, stories. And I highly encourage you to get to events because they're a great opportunity to learn from other people what they've done and gather up stories you can take back and share with your team. Opportunity to be rewarded and celebrated, you know, for those who achieve success, whether that be gold pay setter, pay setter leader, um, and, 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 and so forth. It was a great opportunity to be recognized in front of your peers. Opportunity to add value to others and share strategies and success stories. I had the privilege of actually speaking on, on stage and I love the opportunity to share my experiences so far in this opportunity. The biggest turnouts were from Japan, Hungary and France. Big turnout from the Japanese. And uh, basically, Dr. Anna, unfortunately, was not able to attend. She joined us by video. Her mother is actually uh, terminally ill at the moment. And uh, she's at home in Israel uh, by her bedside night and day for the last few weeks. So our uh, prayers and thoughts go with her, but she gave a great presentation, which you'll get the recording of, I'd imagine, this week. Um, Alex, the same, who runs the Uplift team, joined us by a video because of the actual Ukraine issue. Um, couldn't even come onto a video camera because he couldn't actually disclose where he was uh, unlocated. So, you know, World events sometimes have impacts, uh, personal situations have impacts, but overall though, it was a lot of leadership who really added a lot of value and there were some great uh, um, speakers from the Uplift team and also uh, the lawyer from Endotech also joined us by video as well to share more on that as well. So let's talk about the state of the nation in terms of the crowdfund. So what I want to do is just want to go back and reset and make sure that we are all on the same page. Endotech was a successful, well-respected developer of AI trading technologies long before Daisy was even an idea. Why is that important? Because most opportunities are trying to create something new and it's created by the MLM or the, the MLM founders. But in this, we're dealing with something that was in the real world very successful and very respected by its peers long before Daisy came along. The crowdfunding was focused on developing new AI technology that took into account factors that affect market conditions that are not currently fact in, factored into normal financial technology. For example, who's the president of the US? Wars, pandemics, all these things affect markets, but traditionally, AI technology only focuses on the actual AF trading history. And so we're not, we're not developing just another AI bot. There's a million new bots and every, every day someone comes along with me with this new bot they've got. This is not another bot. We're changing the way the whole artificial intelligence works across the board. We're not just trying to create updated versions of the current endotech strategies. A lot of people came into this thinking that we were just going to mimic the results of endotech and improve those current uh, results, or they were getting into a trading opportunity. We were not in trading. We were actually crowdfunding the development of a technology. 
and it was one of the most successful crowd funds in the history of the crowdfunding industry, not just network marketing, but in crowdfunding as a whole. And the participants, that's us, what we're getting as a benefit from our crowdfund contribution, and I want to take note of the language that I'm using, our crowdfund contribution, not our capital, we received equity and trading rewards from the new AI trading in that test fund. So that trading fund is a testing and development fund. And as that AI is developed, and Dr. Anna has been very open about the fact that they ran into a lot of roadblocks in that development, but things have turned for the good. So basically, you haven't lost your money and nobody has ran off with your money. Nobody's been taking that money and trading it on the side. There's all sorts of gossip and opinions and uh, speculations going around, but nobody has lost their money because all that's happened is we haven't received the anticipated or the expected results. And, you know, Chris, my business partner and I have been very vocal about that all, all the way along. But we also understand that the market dictates everything. And also Dr. Anna and her team are doing the best that they can do. But the minute the trading results start to improve and the minute the market goes in the right direction, we all start to win. And basically, if you have built a team, you win whether people withdraw or compound. So we accept that some people are just going to withdraw. They're going to suck out every dime they possibly can of trading rewards because they maybe have, don't have confidence or they just want to see some, something back for the crowdfund contribution that they made. Or others will compound. Now, if they withdraw, the performance fee is taken out at the time of withdrawal, and that goes through the actual unit level back end of the, of the pay plan. So the upline wins. And if you compound every six months, the withdrawal, the actual performance fee is withdrawn. So whether people come or go, aren't interested anymore or are enthusiastic, we still all win if you built a team. And the beauty about that initial contribution that's gone into the trading fund, it's not going away. So when the crowd fund ends, and it will, the crowd fund aspect of this will come to an end, and the project moves to a licensed regulated entity, you can choose to continue letting your funds earning trading rewards or withdraw that portion that went to the trading fund. And again, there'll be more details coming out about that. But you know, in the meantime, that portion that's gone to the crowd fund, uh, trading fund, basically is going to continue to generate positive outcomes when the trading is positive. So there has been a breakthrough in the AI, and it's been created by a team of AI scientists, quants, quants are people who basically are very skilled at analyzing data and very skilled in maths and researchers. And it's that's now programmed into the trading strategies used for the DAISY fund. So we should be expecting those results to start to reflect this week, regardless. And these, these breakthroughs were about how do we generate results, not only when the market is in a positive direction going up, but when it's in an actual decline or it's going sideways. And this was the one of the, the, the key areas they were looking for results in. The testing of the new AI strategies has shown results significantly better than any previous strategies created by Endotech for the same trading period. For example, these were some of the results that they shared when they did some actual back testing of these new strategies and these breakthroughs they had, and they applied it against the um, historical data from January last year to March this year. And you can see that these results are significant for the different types of strategies. So we're talking up to 700% plus. So we will start to see some of those. And you can see here, again, different, different strategies for that period. So we will start to see these sort of results reflecting in our back office this week and beyond. Forex, basically the APIs, that's the, the link between Endotech and the brokers that hold the funds for the Forex that are traded are now fully tested. And it, and it was a lot of work had to go on there because even just milliseconds of, of time uh, being lost in, in information flowing back and forth 
can significantly impact the profit and loss. Again, I'm not a technician. I'm not a, as far as a trader, but there was a, that's why it took longer to get that right. All funds have now been transferred to the broker and the Forex trading, as you saw today in the official channel is live. And this week we should start to see the reflection of the profits from that full balance showing up in our back office, which is great news. So that's the Endotech side and the uh, crypto and the Forex. So basically, in summary, this week, we should start to see things moving in the right direction. Let's talk about Uplift, Launchpad, and the Lift token. So again, as a bit of pretext, this is an independent real world project operating in the open market. Lift token is available on public exchanges. Lift token can be purchased by the general public. It's not just something exclusive to the actual DAISY community. and was created by people who are well respected in this blockchain industry. We know that the team behind this were the team that programmed the new smart contract that runs the DAISY crowdfund as well. Launchpad platforms do take typically two to five years to mature into well-respected, well-used platforms. You've got to have realistic timeframes around how quickly you start to see results. If you're looking at this as, I want to see results in 90 days, six months, and so forth, that's not going to be the case. You really need to look at this as something that's going to bring you wealth and a growing asset value over the next two to five years. And frankly, look back, you know, have you bought anything in the last two to five years that has got significant capital appreciation? You know, it's interesting. Some people say to me, oh, if only I had just bought some Bitcoin, I would have been better off. And I say, well, did you buy any Bitcoin? No. Well, then don't say that because anybody can throw around. If only I had a bought some Shibu or I had a bought some Dogecoin, I had a bought some Bitcoin or whatever at the, at the low price and held it now when it's high. Yeah, we all wish we had done that. But if you didn't do it, it's irrelevant. So have a long-term perspective. Also, a big thing is price is not an indication of the value of Lyft. You've got to stop looking at the price of Lyft as an indication of the value. Is it a factor, an actual reflection? In a way, but it's not the only thing. Lyft is not immune to the market. The market dictates the price. In December this year, my business partner and I, uh, through the experts that we follow, predicted there would be a drop in Bitcoin. And it did happen. And we purchased a, a reasonable quantity of the top 20 to 30 uh, altcoins in the market. And we thought that we got them at an exceptional price. And I was really happy. I mean, I put really low orders in and got them all. Only to find a few weeks later, the market dropped another 30, 40%. And even today, I am still not at break even of what I thought were exceptional prices back in December. Food for thought. So, but the thing is, Lift and Uplift is winning awards from its peers. In Dubai, they just had the largest cryptocurrency um, conference there, and they won the best launch pad. And you might be saying, oh, how can they do that if the price is so low? Price is not an indicator of value, of how well that platform works, of how well they're executing everything they're doing. These peers are looking at what's going on, what's the underlying value offering and understanding that this is a new platform and a new token, but it has won multiple awards. Now on your screen, maybe a bit small for a small on a phone or, or a tablet, but um, basically lift price reflects the state of the market, not its value. Now this shows the top 20 cryptocurrencies in the world. And in the red there, you see the price drop since it's all time high. And almost every one of these top 20 cryptos that have hundreds of millions, if not billions of turnover every day are all lower than their all-time highs. And in the green there, you'll see how much they've got to gain in value to get back to their all-time high. So that's a reflection of where the market is right now. So don't, it doesn't matter what 
one of the founders might have said or what Lyft might have said. You know, a lot of experts said that Bitcoin would be $100,000 by now. It would be $250,000. It would be half a million dollars by now. We don't go bashing those people because they got it wrong. The market dictates the price. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Again, here is amongst the top 100 cryptocurrencies. And I just took 20 of these to show how much they've dropped from their all-time high, from 96, nearly 97% for ICP, which was actually one of the top 10 at one stage, all the way down to Uniswap, which is a launch pad, and it's dropped nearly 73.5%. So they've got to do a th almost a 3x to get back to the way out where they are. Pancake Swap has dropped 80%. And it's another very successful launch pad. And it's got to do a 380% to get to back to where it was. So I hope these two illustrations just show, to show you that this is the market and the market decides and not what somebody predicts the price to be. So all this conversation about so-and-so said the price should be 10, 20, 30, 40, $50 by now is irrelevant. It has no bearing upon what the price actually is. Staking options. A lot of talk about the different options. So I'll break it down into really simple words. Unvested DAISY tokens must be converted to Lyft. Unvested means they've been released. They're no longer locked up. So you need to actually claim them and convert them to Lyft. And then you can decide whether you sell them or whether you stake them. Obviously, staking would make more sense in light of the current price, where you get more of the tokens and you wait until the market improves and you wait until the price improves. The locked up or vested DAISY tokens can be dealt with in two ways. One, you can wait as they unvest. So we know that initially 10% was released in the first 90 days and then 5% per month. These were the ones that you purchased in the pre-sale. So if you want to have control over your tokens, then let them unvest and then convert them to Lyft and then you can decide whether you sell or stake them. Or you can take your staked, your locked up vested DAISY tokens that you bought in the pre-sale and receive mining pool rewards. And a lot of people are saying, well, exactly how much am I going to get from each? It is not an exact science. Nobody knows what the price of Bitcoin is going to be in three months or six months or nine months or 24 months time. Just like we don't know about all the projects that are going to be there on the Uplift platform for you to actually stake with and get your rewards from. So it's more of a case of what sort of person are you? Do you want more control and flexibility? then you'd let them invest and you could either sell them or stake them. If you're happy to see this as a two to five year project, then you'll be more advantageous to stake your DAISY tokens for two years. And then the mining pool results from what my conversations with the founders are potentially going to be a lot more in value than staking Lyft because you're getting Bitcoin. And we know that Bitcoin should over the next two years, significantly increase in price. So it makes more sense if you've got a longer term view and you're not looking at cashing out those tokens within the next two years, then the mining pool is the way to go. Now, we also have the DAISY tokens that you might have received as rewards via the different promos that happened. So originally, these tokens that you got for different ranks and, and different promos that went on, they were locked for the first 12 months. Nothing was released for 12 months, and then it was 5% per month. That meant it was going to take 32 months to get access to all of these tokens that you received from the promotions. Now, you can, in a few weeks' time, you'll be able to choose to stake these DAISY tokens for two years and receive mining pool profits. Now, I want you to think about this. They're locked up anyway. They're being released then at 5% per 
per month. So you weren't getting anything while they were locked up anyway. So now you're getting an additional benefit from the mining pool, which is Bitcoin. So don't look at this as a disadvantage. This is a huge advantage. And alternatively, you've got to wait till the end of 12 months, which will be August this year. And then they start to be released at 5% per month. And you've got to hope and pray that maybe the price goes up or you want to actually, actually stake them normally and take the assumption that you might be better off. Again, if you'd like more flexibility, maybe that's the option you'll take. But for me, it makes more sense to stake these tokens because they're fundamentally locked up the large majority of them for two years anyway. So you might as well uh, stake them. And at the end of two years, you'll be able to unstake and then convert those DAISY tokens to LIFT tokens. So anything that's unvested, we want to get that to LIFT and no longer talk about DAISY. But the tokens that are already vested and also locked up from the, as, as part of the rewards, they're the ones that we want to stake and get the mining pool benefits. So I hope that adds clarity to that. Okay, the liquid mining NFT project. Uh, basically, the word on this is that once we see roughly a month of good trading results, which we're hoping that April is going to be that month, that's, that's, that's as far as the intention, uh, then we should see this project go live in May. This is a, another real world project for the DAISY community and the public retail market. There are institutional investors and everyday investors who are looking at this project very enthusiastically. So, they're, they're, so these are not traditional uh, affiliate or referral model people. They are people in the normal investment retail space. The DAISY community will always be offered the best value, the best price, the best offerings, and we get the referral program. The retail market just gets to enjoy the benefits for themselves. The retail market NFT sales will benefit the DAISY community who participate. So if you choose to participate in this liquid mining NFT project, as all the retail sector comes in, that's all adding to the various revenue streams that are available to you as a member of the DAISY community. And they're utilizing the best hardware in terms of the mining rigs themselves. They got access to the manufacturers, direct access to the very latest technology. The cooling technology is the best in terms, of, and of course, okay, I'm not gonna get into this because Jeremy did an excellent presentation at the event, which will be available. And the slides have been posted in our groups. We've got very low power costs, if not zero power costs. So all these things combined are going to produce the best mining profits. And NFT basically gives you a fractional or a full ownership of a mining rig. So basically the NFT is an asset that you can sell in the open market, just like other NFTs, but rather than an NFT of a JPEG or a gift or a cartoon, or something like that, you're getting something that's an actual tangible uh, mining rig that's uh, mining Bitcoin. The mining, as I said, produces Bitcoin, an asset that has historically outperformed most asset classes for the last decade. So your, the NFT is an asset that's mining to produce an asset that has been one of the best performers the last decade. Then you can take your mined Bitcoin and use the Endotech BTC strategy to multiply that amount of Bitcoin you own. So imagine like this, you're, you're basically owning the NFT, which you can sell on the open marketplace anytime you want which is producing Bitcoin as another asset. And then you can take advantage of Endotech and have them put your BTC to work and multiply that amount of BTC that you receive as a result of the mining. This brings more attention to Endotech, increasing its valuation and hence the value of your equity as a crowdfund contributor. NFTs will be available via the Uplift Launchpad and the lift tokens are used to allow the acquisition of the NFT. So 
as the whole retail market gets these NFTs, they have to get lift tokens. They have to use the uplift launch pad, which again, brings more attention and focus to that platform, brings more use case of the lift token, which is going to help you because the value of that token will be increased. So we've got a, an ecosystem here of the mining using lift and also you being able to have the option of taking your Bitcoin and leveraging Endotech as well and increasing your equity valuation. So you can reserve your NFT now. There are only 4,800 in this first round full mining rigs. So uh, they're just getting an estimate of what the level of engagement is. So basically, um, obviously, there'll be more available, but for the initial order, because it does take about three to four months to set up the rig in the actual premises where they'll be hosted and before they start producing Bitcoin. And then basically, their projected approximate monthly turnover will be about 12.5%, which means in eight months, you have now recouped your initial outlay. So in one year, your first year, you'd basically have your initial outlay back. Now you can get a full minor NFT and it depends on what sort of rig they end up deciding to get initially, but that'll be somewhere between seven and a half and $15,000. Or you can get a fractional ownership, which is a micro pack where it's a one tenth of a minor. So you and other people will be sharing in the ownership of that. And again, that's a, a it's NFT that can be sold in the open market, and that's between 850 and 1700. So it's a bit more expensive with the fractional ownership. But again, if you don't have a big budget, you can start with that. So we've covered the crowdfund in terms of crypto, in terms of Forex, in terms of Lyft, and we've now covered the liquid product. I said today is a high level overview basically to reset everybody and then we're going to start to drill down in future sessions into the detail but frankly you you only need to know this high level stuff don't confuse people with too much technical jargon so basically what is the narrative the story moving forward a lot of people at the event said okay it's great to have all this new stuff but what do i say to the new person who i want to share this with what do i tell them that daisy is about and here's how I condense this down. We are a community that is funding and supporting innovative real world projects. As I said, Endotech was around before Daisy, with Daisy, and long after Daisy. Lyft is going to is operating outside Daisy and will continue after Daisy. The mining, again, is a real world project happening for Daisy, but also outside Daisy. Well, basically liquid, so it's a whole new entity. So we're supporting and funding innovative real world projects. The community is rewarded with immediate upfront and passive backend rewards and equity. So again, I'm keeping this very simple because this is what people can relate to. They can relate to actually being part of a community. They can relate to funding and supporting new projects. They can relate to immediate and passive rewards and getting equity. And you build a community and that will increase these benefits that you receive. You gain education and understanding of exciting new trends that are influencing the world. Blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFTs, um, you know, uh, mining, all these things are hot trends that are going to get bigger and bigger. You can be passive, putting your money to work or refer and be re re rewarded for community building. Notice I'm not talking about building a downline. I'm not talking about sponsoring people. We get away from MLM language and use words that people can relate to. So we can passively put our money to work rather than working for money. Most people are working for money. Let's get them the money working for them. And if they choose to refer, they'll be rewarded for building that community. Not a downline, not a team, not a referral team, but building a community. Because projects are supported by communities. You know, the most successful tokens and coins in the cryptocurrency space and DeFi and NFT projects and other projects have a strong community behind them. 
So what are the financial benefits moving forward? Well, the upfront revenue, the now money, how do I get some now money? Well, the crowdfunding and the liquid NFTs. When you introduce somebody to the crowdfund, you get an immediate reward. And the same with the NFTs. There's a 5% direct referral reward, and it's only on your, refer your personal referrals. There is no multiple levels. It's a 5% only on your personal referrals. So that's upfront on the crowdfund and the liquid NFTs. The lift was only there in the pre-sale. There's no uh, you know, substantial referral rewards. There are some referral rewards for recommending lift, but not significant. So where is the residual revenue? Well, again, the crowdfunding tiers because you get the benefit of one, the trading rewards from your tiers. And as your referral team withdraws or their performance fees are deducted every six months, you receive the referral residual earnings. And same with the liquid NFTs. A mining rig, once it's operational, is mining Bitcoin every single day. And the mining pools that you can participate in are going to be receiving Bitcoin every single day, whether you get out of bed or not. So that's residual revenue. And you also get equity. And that's the great thing about our projects that you get upfront revenue, you get residual revenue, and you get equity in something that has real value. There's the crowdfund of the DAISY AI. So you get some equity in Endotech. And you've got the lift tokens. That's another asset that you own that will have future value. And you've got the liquid NFTs. So this is an equity or an asset that you actually have benefit from. So they're the three general ways to enjoy financial benefits. So how does a new person join the community? Well, basically they become a crowdfund contributor. Everybody's got to start by at least acquiring a tier one crowdfunding contribution, whether that be Forex, whether that be crypto, they have to at least acquire one tier, which is a 100 USDT commitment. Then they've got choices. They can choose additional tiers, whether that be crypto or Forex, and they can then access the liquid NFTs. You can't access the liquid NFTs at the reduced price for a DAISY community member unless you have at first a crowdfunding tier. So often the people ask, well, how can I, tr can I trust this platform? Are my funds safe and are the results assured? Well, we have over 150,000 participants with over 200 million raised in the last 15 months. So you would say that has been one of the most successful crowdfunding projects out there in the open marketplace. You have full transparency on the blockchain with all the funds fully distributed and accountable. Being fully transparent on the blockchain means it displays the good, the bad, the ugly. There's no running away. It's not like the company can cover up the trading results or cover up what's going on. It's all there in black and white on the blockchain, full transparency. So that's one of the strengths of this is that there's no hiding the reality of what's going on. So if you want real world outcomes, real world projects, real results, and are willing to accept the good with the bad, then this is for you. The results are based on real world market conditions. The reality is that basically markets did affect our performance and the markets have not been very friendly to most people over the last four or five months. So, so basically, um, is there help available is another question that people are going to ask. Well, the official telegram channels and groups and the events that get held are one way to access support. The community education and training that happens from corporate as well. And of course, your referrer and upline leadership. And again, if you're actually disconnected from them, now's the time to go back and work your way up the, the lines of referral until you find people that are able to give you what you want. But at some stage, you've also got to take responsibility for your own success. You know, uh, basically, nobody should care about your money more than you. Don't blame other people for decisions. 
you should be more responsible about where you place your money. You should be more responsible about learning what's going on and how this program works. You should follow your money. A lot of people get into this. They just hand it over money, don't have the faintest idea. And they say, oh, but they didn't tell me how it works. Well, if you gave your money away without getting asking questions and learning how it works, that's on you. Because you just gave your money away willingly without even doing any due diligence, without expecting to understand what the benefits are. So I said, you've got to take responsibility. Same as your success. You might have a lousy referrer. You might have a lousy upline. Well, take charge and plug into what's available and become the leader that you wished you had have joined under. If you want to maximize the referral pay plan, what should you do in terms of the crowdfund? When I got involved with Daisy back in uh, November 2020, when we started the pre-launch, one of my first things is, what do I need to do to maximize this? I don't start anything looking for the smallest outcome. I want to know, how do I get the most out of it? Well, you need 24 personal referrals, 24 people who've contributed to the crowdfunders, 24 people with a minimum of 100 USDT in contribution. And you ultimately want to have 128,000 in contributions from those total personal referrals. You don't have to stop at 24, but you don't need any more than 24, but you need 128. And that will maximize the amount of levels of referral that you can potentially benefit from. Of course, if you do this in the first 30 days, you receive additional revenue streams and equity offers through Paysetter Gold and Paysetter Leader programs. And as you know, they've done a reset of that for existing people. So you've got until around the end of April to basically accumulate 24 new referrals, 128 of new personal referral volume, and enjoy the additional benefits. If you want to maximize the referral pay plan, what do you do with the liquid mining NFT project? Well, let's talk about that. So there are different pools. As I said, you get a 5% direct referral bonus on your personal referrals. So if somebody gets a fractional or a full NFT, you get a 5% only on your personals. No one below that. And then there's three pools. So the equivalent of two full NFTs. So that could be, you know, a whole bunch of fractional ones that every 10 makes one, every 10 fractionals makes one full. But when you do a total of 10, sorry, a total of two full NFTs in a calendar month with no more than one from any one leg. So you might have referred 10 people personally. That means you have 10 referral legs. So you can't have more than one. So you couldn't have just two sales from one, one team. You'd have to have at least a sale in each of these two teams. And that will give you a share for that month of a percentage of the mining revenue. And that's a month by month qualification. So you have to requalify each month. It's not what you do personally. It can be from your team, but you must have that coming from at least two teams. The elite pool is on the cumulative effect of the NFTs in your organization. And again, no more than 50% of the qualification can come from any one team. So in other words, if you sponsored John and Mary, no more than 50% can come from either John's team or Mary's team. So when you've accumulated a, a combined total of 20 full NFTs, and again, that can be made up of fractional NFTs, then you will qualify for a share every single month. And that's additional Bitcoin every single month. And then when you go to the empire level, when you've got a total of 200 full mining rigs, basically, then you get an additional share of the mining revenue. And again, no more than 50% from one leg. Now, 200 is not a lot over time. And it's Cumulative, it's not in any time period. If it takes you one week, one month, one year, five years, doesn't matter. Once you've accumulated that 
amount, as long as no more than half of them are in any one leg, then basically you qualify. And the empire is for those who want to build. Some of the founders said that they were involved in a similar like mining program a few years back that had a similar model to this. And there was substantial six and seven figure incomes earned. So if you've got ambitions to not only accumulate more Bitcoin, but participate in some very lucrative pools, this is the way to go. And I said, you receive a 5% referral bonus on all personal sales of NFTs. So how do you share DAISY in a simple, effective way? I can tell you that I don't do full DAISY presentations. I don't explain the pay plan in detail. I don't explain all the detailed background of Endotech and Dr. Anna. I'm not going to be explaining detailed mining technology. I'm not going to be explaining all the uh, complexities of lift and launch pads and DeFi and NFTs and the rest of them. Because frankly, most people don't care about that. All they want to know is how can I get from A where I am to B where I want to be and the shortest way possible and in the simplest way possible. So how do you share it in a simple, effective way? Well, I've already given you a bit of a high level overview of what, how the, 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 the language and terminology that I use. But it's about building rapport, asking questions. How can you effectively pro actually provide the solution to people if you don't know what their problem is? So rapport building is about finding out about where they are, family-wise, occupational-wise, recreational, money and material desires. Then it's also about disrupting them. How are they positioned in the world financially right now? The last two years has made everybody open to listening about side gigs, new ways of creating revenue, additional wealth creation, because everybody's been disturbed in the last two years with what's happened. And it's only the beginning. We haven't yet, yet seen the full financial outcome of what's happened. And then you offer the solution. So you know enough about them, about whether they want to put their kids through college, whether they want to get their wife out of her job, whether they want to get a new car, they want to move house, whatever it is. You've disturbed them at where they are. You know What would happen if they lost their job? What would happen if there is their business in actually decline or is it in a growth phase? And you have a solution that can help them solve that. Then get them registered and at least funded with tier one as a starter. Once they're in, then it's not that hard to progress through more tiers and then access the mining. And then what I tell people is, once they're registered and at least got their first tier, I would say, hey, John, who's the first person that comes to mind that you believe, if they heard what I've just shared with you, would see the value in this and would be seriously interested? Let's arrange a three-way call with them so we can just have a chat with them, get to find out where they're at, see if this is of value to them. I have a few classic phrases. Hey, John, this may be for you. It may not be for you, but I wouldn't be sharing it with you if it's not worthwhile. Okay. And also say to people, I'm not responsible for your decision. That's your responsibility. What I am responsible for is helping you get enough information to make the best decision for you to make an informed decision. And that's all I'm responsible for. I am not responsible for anybody's success. I'm, I never take an approach of I'm there to convince people. I'm not there to convince anybody of anything. I, I don't take responsibility for anybody's decision. We're all adults. Own your decision. Put your big boys and big girls pants on and own that and duplicate that process. That's what I do. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it's simple, it works, it's proven, and you can do it online or offline. So my summation is this. The Daisy founders, Endotech, Uplift team are all committed to success regardless of our emotions and our opinions. Opinions, they say, are like our backside. Everyone's got one, but it doesn't change much. Expressing your emotions or opinions publicly isn't going to change how hard the founders are working, isn't going to change how hard Dr. Anna and her team are working, isn't going to change how much the Uplift team is doing. So you might also focus on what you can control. Whatever you've built to date will yield assets, equity, and cash flow. It might not be immediate or it might not be actually, actually significant immediately, but over time it will be.
And of course, the more crowdfunding tiers you have, the more lift tokens you have, and the more mining NFTs that you have, the bigger the potential yield. But you also, as I say, you have to decide. You either are you either have a lot of funds to put to work, or you have a small amount of funds to put to work. And if you have a small amount, the only other solution is you need to leverage your spare time, your influence on other people, and your resources and the systems that are available to you, and identify a good vehicle that you can capitalize on, which Daisy is one of those in our portfolio, to help you get to where you want to go. That's the only reality. There's nothing in the middle. There is no quick fixes. There's no magic bullets. There's no magic scripts. It's just basically either you have a lot of money to put to work, or you've got a little bit of money that you want to grow to a lot of money, and you have to get busy building a referral network. Learn from the past. Don't harp on the past. Don't go bashing everybody about what was said, what was promised, what happened. It's irrelevant. It doesn't, it doesn't put any more funds in your wallet. So learn from the past. What decisions would you make better? How would you support your team better? You know, if you listen to my presentation I did um, in Dubai, I also challenged the founders and everybody involved in this project to let's not make the same mistakes. Let's execute better. Let's do better. Let's build better relationships. But let's focus on the now and the future. Get the rear vision mirror that you are looking at all the time. Rip it off the dashboard, throw it out the window, and get your eyes focused on where you're going, not where you've been. Where you've been isn't changing you, except as a learning experience. And you get to decide what you learn, whether you just repeat the same things or you actually learn. Own your decision. And if that is to leave, do it with a mature adult mindset with grace. Don't, don't go bagging that the project, don't go bad mouthing other people. Don't go into the groups and leave a whole bunch of negatives. Just make it like an adult. Okay, it wasn't for you. You don't want to be involved anymore. Walk away. Sorry, I'll just go up one. But Daisy is an ongoing part of our future strategy to accumulate assets, equity, and grow cash flow. You know, you want to diversify. It's very hard to juggle multiple networks to build at this one time, but we do place funds into different projects. And so you've got to decide, you know, if you're not good at actually building communities, then focus on one community to start with to build your skill level, build your experience, to accumulate your experience and knowledge and learn how to be a successful community builder. And then you can look at building additional with our communities. But until you get to be a confident builder of communities, don't go and spread yourself too thin. But this is a great way, as I've shown you, to accumulate assets, equity, and grow cash flow. So what do you do next if, if you do want to continue with days? You know, I'm not making any assumptions here. I'm not to tell you what to do. I'm not here to hype you up and tell you this is the best thing since sliced bread. We're all adults. I just want to give you the facts today so you can make your own informed decision. If you do want to proceed, plug into your referrer, upline, the groups, and the channels. As I said, nobody should care about your money more than you. And whatever you've put into Daisy, whether it be large or small, pay attention to it, learn how it works, learn how to get the most out of it, and at least have enough understanding to make informed decisions that are best for your interests. If you want to maximize the pay plan, then know what goals you need to reach what activities you need to be doing on a daily basis to accomplish those outcomes. Like I said, if you want to get the maximum, 24 personals, 128 personal referral. You know, we did that in the pre-launch. So day one, getting started, we were not leaving any money on the table. You just got to decide whether you play with this or whether you plan to succeed with this and you're intentional about what you do. Few people are intentional about the success. They play with this success like a lottery. Your, your, your freedom and your success should not be played with like a lottery. It should be very intentional, everything that you do. So if you're wanting to maximize your goals with a crowdfund, consider how many tiers you may want to upgrade to over time to get the most out of that. If you want to maximize the lift, then stake, then stake your unvested uh, tokens lift tokens and stake your DAISY 
tokens to get the most out of that. If you want to participate in the first round of the mining, decide what NFT, whether it's fractional or full, suits your goals and budget. But don't pre-book the NFT unless you actually do intend to purchase it. You know, because what we want to give real numbers, real uh, ideas of how many people are actually wanting to participate. So they, when they get order those machines, because basically what's going to happen is when it goes live, you've got 48 hours to come up with the funds to acquire that NFT. So, so I said our intention, well, not my intention, but the, the project's intention is that one month of good trading, we should see the NFT mining liquid project go live in May. So that's basically the end of the presentation. As I said, today was not about questions or opinions or anything like that. And I apologize if that may not um, you know, be what you wanted, but I, today I just wanted to be, I don't like to drag these sessions out. We've gone 55 minutes. The recording will be up so you can pass it on to your team. I will do additional sessions to drill down a bit more detail. We've got the official update on Friday. So I'd encourage you to be there for that. But I hope today that I've given you at least sufficient understanding of the basics. And I said, this is an opportunity for you to reset where you are with this and be an adult and make a decision and live with that decision. So on that note, I thank you for attending and I look forward to talking with you again soon. Take care.